Hello, freaks and geeks, and welcome to another Xfinity series fixed race. I kind of messed that up still. Anyways, let's just continue on. Um, how many people have actually qualified? 14. Alright, so I say let's go ahead and qualify then. How much time do we actually have? I still have time to qualify. Alright. Um, I haven't actually done any qualifying laps or, you know, did any qualifying practice, so I'm just kind of going to go for it. Green flag, green flag. Been mainly practicing okay, on trying to keep it together, so. Yeah, the car is very... We got damage on the front end. Well, that, yeah, this first lap is scuffed. Uh, front end damage shouldn't be that much. Alright. Let's hope that this second lap is better. Everyone's setting like 31s and stuff, so. And see, we set a 32. I think we're barely just gonna get into the 31s. Oh. Yeah, we barely just got into the 31. 31 nines. So, even if we didn't, yeah, we even if we didn't actually set a time, we would only be a couple places back, which is totally fine with me. All right, 40 lap race. Sh shouldn't really be that much strategy to it. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. Um, I'm having a feeling it's going to be a caution-filled race. Um, there are 20 cars, so we are going to need to be aiming for... It's competitive out um, there. Head down, stay sharp. We are going to need to uh, finish within the top 10 to gain any I rating, I would imagine, so... Um, no fuel should be good there. Um, we are going to get tires depending on uh, depending on whenever the yellow comes out and everything like that. But as far as things are concerned right now, uh, Waiting on we, the shouldn't final need, car to grid. we shouldn't need to pit. Everyone's gridded. There are two additional sets of tires during this race. Have a good race. Two sets. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, if there is a late caution around lap 30, or even 20, you know, it's halfway, I would imagine people would want to go in and get new tires. With how much the tire wear is, but... Tire wear isn't so dramatic. Um, although, like I said, I could imagine being in a 30 lap run you know, or even a 20 lap run, people, especially with, you know, with it only being a 40 lap race, people would want to come in for fresh tires. I'm not so sure how the drop off is actually gonna be. So. I don't know, depending on where you are and everything like that, going green. but I'm having a feeling that everyone's going to be wrecking and going to losing, going to lose uh, control of their car and just, it's just going to be a yellow be fest. Ready. But then again, I was wrong in the green past flag, as well, so... Flag.
Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Keep high. Still there, inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still inside. Yeah, I put on the power way too early there. I'm still learning this track. Trying to make this pass. Keep low. Go low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. The high side. The, side clear. the high line is actually definitely better, at least for me. I'm definitely I'm using a little bit more tires. Yeah, that wasn't good. Wow. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I cranked the wheel way too hard there. Inside. Clear. Car outside. Go low. Outside. Clear. Inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Stay high. Still there, inside. I do is just Still keeping my line, so... Clear. Inside. Clear inside. Inside. Keep high. Clear inside. I'm surprised no one has wrecked inside. yet, so... Still there, inside. Clear. Inside. Clear. Oh, well, there goes someone. But there's no yellow for it. Yeah, I don't like actually running down low like that, because, I mean, I'm having to turn the wheel a lot more. At least I feel like it. Yeah, it's getting way too tight for me. Like me personally, I feel a lot more comfortable up on the high side and plus I just I feel like going down low like that is just using too much tires. But then again, I don't know. At the same time, 
I'm like cranking the wheel about the same amount up high, so. Uh. It's all about throttle control on this track because it's so flat. That's the problem with this track. Oh my goodness, I totally cut him off. At least he wasn't like up, up uh, on my bumper. It's so weird on these types of tracks because with, with that doesn't have a lot of um, banking to it because you have to put on the power early. It feels like, but you know, but you have to keep it at half throttle to you know to maintain good speed. But then at a certain point, you have to just floor it. It's so weird because I'm so inconsistent. <laughs> If the 15 comes knocking, I won't fight too hard. At least they're not a total dick like the 12 was. Inside. Clear. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Still inside. Whoops. Got a little bit too close to the wall there. There's a car on the low side. Clear. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Keep high. Clear inside. Didn't exactly give him the position, but that was a nice little fight there. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, that's that's not working. Decided to just try that out, see how 
uh, my pace was, and yeah, it's, it, it's not helping it. I mean, I could see it possibly helping in this corner, but not really. I can't get the exit out that good anymore. I have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to take it easy in and all the way through so I can really have a better exit. I didn't even mention the fact that we were um, already past halfway. The leader just did a 33.168. Yeah, we don't have pace. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is 1.6 seconds. I mean, at least we have better pace than some people, but yeah, we just don't have pace in general.
I need to not turn that wheel that much because it's hard. It makes the car um, get really, really tight coming out of the exit. line is better now Car as we get further into the race. Stay low. Clear outside. The leader just did a 33.253. Good job, good to go. I'm starting to really push now, so... 10 laps to go, not much point of trying to save tires anymore. Shouldn't really affect all that much though. I just lost a ton of momentum. That's it. I am pushing like, uh. I'm, re I'm really am pushing though. So. Need to try to balance that with, you know, not totally bending it. My god. Yeah, the car really has tightened up. Yeah, see, it's a lot. I'm a lot more comfortable in three and four than I am one and two. So he's off the corner. if it's actually worth shifting now. The leader just did a 33.099. No.
pulling away from the car behind. The gap is 1.4 seconds. I just I can't keep up with this person. They probably have better tires than me. I mean at this stage it's all a tire game for the most part. I don't say for the most part, there's also this general pace as well, but this far late and without a yellow flag and it's you know just pure green flag run, it's uh Flat. It's all about um, tire wear for the most part. Who is able to save the most tires? Download. Well, we're definitely right, gonna. Let's kick it flag. Okay, we'll get him next time. We're definitely gonna lose some eye rating, which kind of sucks, but we just didn't have the pace today, and doesn't really get a, give me hope for the NIS race later on. actually uh, bring up any tire wear to actually bring it up okay yeah 50 50 percent on the right side which I kind of figured uh, let's see let's go ahead. I mean since there wasn't really that much going on that race let's go ahead and bring up the results Uh, yeah, we uh, we gained some safety rating at least, but yeah, we lost. A t Man, why is that so much? Why? It's almost like we finished in last place, which isn't the case. That's uh, that's ridiculous. I don't know. I kind of I kind of hate the fucking uh, this system, the I rating system. In all honesty, I kind of hate it. Actually, I really do hate it, but whatever. Uh, didn't exactly have the pace. Wish we would have been able to finish at least, you know, 10th or whatnot, but what have you. Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, I'll catch you freaks and geeks, or, hold on, well, yeah, uh, if you liked this video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more of this content, please hit that subscribe button, I'll see you freaks and geeks in the next video. Bye.